my fellow Nigerian compatriots. My name is Smart Mado Ajaja. Let me use this opportunity to wish you all a happy, prosperous, and purpose-driven 2020. I am a revolutionary and I owe nobody any apologies for what I am and for what I represent for Nigeria. Nigeria is at the verge of collapse and we cannot afford to continue to fold our arms while less than 1% of the country's population run the country into the ground. We cannot afford to continue to fold our arms while our teeming youth population with a commanding 70% of the entire nation's population is reduced to kidnappers, ritual killers, cannibals, terrorists, and beggars. We cannot continue to fold our arms. We are the future, or when the future of our fatherland is being exported outside the shores of Nigeria, in search of greener pastures that truly don't exist in some of the countries where they land. The time is now for you, me, and other men of truth and women of truth in Nigeria to come together to say, enough is enough for 60 years our country has been run aground by the same less than one percent the moment called for sober reflection about the way forward for nigeria how long shall they kill our prophets while we stand beside and look Nigeria virtually has not had the luxury of being led by those driven by patriotic instincts, but by those driven by the hunger to loot and liquidate the country. And they have done a great job at that. I think we should stop them now before they bankrupt the entire country and leave nothing for this and the next generation of Nigerians. Why can't you join the coalition to bring about order in Nigeria? You see, our country is under assault on all fronts, economically, politically, socially, and infrastructurally. I've had the opportunity of traveling to over 30 countries of the world. And sadly, I come away with an impression that it is only in Nigeria that the leaders squander the resources of their fatherland and leaving nothing for the younger generation and unborn generations of Nigerians. And that these people, we celebrate, we validate every four years when they return with 1,000 naira, okadas, generators, refrigerators, and used cars for some of us, including the hired killers and ballot board snatchers and those who work at the INEC that utter resort for them to give them victories that they do not merit at elections see where we are. The sad story of the bank robbery at Abuja is yet one daunting, savage, and objectionable reality of what we have brought upon our countries, our country through the election of tragically failed people who have no business being in government. Have we not had enough? These are things to talk about. These are things that we'll be thinking about. This is part of the introspection that we must do going forward. 
as we build up to 2023. A year, we must decide what we want for the future of Nigeria. God bless you all, and God bless Nigeria.
Speaking the truth is heavy, but we have to continue to speak the truth. God bless Nigeria. <laughs> 